What up? This is Rama Screen, and it's time for another celeb interview. And in the anticipation of the Beach House arriving on VOD, digital, DVD, and Blu-ray on December 15th, I'm here talking with one of the stars of this new movie, Noah. How are you, Noah? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you for taking the time. Already, from the get down to the Beach House, Noah, tell me, uh, what was your first reaction when you first read Jeffrey Brown's script? And have you yourself... Have you always been a science fiction fan? Yes, I mean for sure. I, I think the first reaction I had was was I was just uh, I just I just thought it felt really cool. You know what I mean? It, it just like the way it made you feel was really interesting. And, and I think sci-fi is something I've always really liked. You know, growing up, I loved all the alien movies. I loved Close Encounters, all that stuff. And I and I loved cosmic horror. You know, I, I that was sort of the I wouldn't say I'm like a complete like horror person, but as far as, as that stuff goes, I think like the Lovecraft sort of that sort of world creating is something I've always been super interested in. And I thought Jeff's script did a really good job of creating a similar feeling. Um, so yeah, I mean, immediately I was super interested in it. Uh, and then when I ended up sitting down and talking to Jeff about it, we just sort of connected on, on you know, as far as like music and movies and just sort of his idea for how he wanted the, the film to go, I thought was just super cool. And uh, from then on out, it kind of just, it just was sort of, it worked, it was hand in glove, so to speak, I think. I love how the buildup in this film, you know, and I, I also enjoyed, uh, what, what is that thing, the, the, the jellyfish-like thing that come out of the water? Uh, <laughs> how, 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 how creepy were those? <laughs> they were weird. I mean, the dispatch, like the, the, I think the special effects, the props, mm -hmm. all those, they did a really incredible job. Um, like all the makeup people, they did that. They made, you know, my job for sure way, way easier. Um, just because, you know, you're not making it all up in your head. You've got something you can touch and feel and react to. Um, and that just made everything much, much easier. It's, you know, it's easy. It's one thing to like pretend like you're sick or whatever when you're just like, you know, if you and I were to do it right now or you're, I'm assuming just feel totally fine. It's another thing when you're like kind of cold and like covered in goo and you're looking at this, like, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it just, it just feeds it a much more. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was, that was really fun. You know, that's like the, that's like the fun part of movie making. It's just all the weird stuff you get to do with it. The last time I went to a beach house was five summers ago for a work retreat. I, I can understand the appeal of such location, great view. So where was this beach house that you shot this uh, film at? And did you guys get any downtime in between to really relax and enjoy the location? Yeah, it was, uh, it was on like Cape Cod sort of area in Massachusetts. Um, we were pretty, we did a lot of night shoots. So by the time the weekend came around, we were pretty dead. <laughs> but uh, we did get some time, you know, I went and like walked around, we went to, we went in like, I think Provincetown is the closest, like bigger town. We went and we, you know, had food, stuff like that. But I think what was interesting is when we were shooting there, it was um, like, I want to say April, um, which is before like the season really starts on the Cape. I mean, the Cape is like, you know, that's um, like sort of the world in Jaws, right? It's like a summer town. So none of that was there it was and it's kind of cold and it's totally empty um mm. which was interesting so i you know we weren't like going and laying on the beach because it was just it was honestly just still too cold for that um <laughs> but um yeah we got to do a little bit but honestly it was mainly we were there we were working and then the weekend was just sort of trying to relax chill out catch up on sleep and stuff like that talk to me about working with liana in developing the chemistry between your characters yeah, I mean, she was she was great. Uh, I would not have been able to do it without her. She she was you know she she's worked for a long time and she's super talented, super professional, and just being able to like see her process and see how confident and clear she was about things really made my job a lot easier. Um, but then, you know, I think the fact that we were also we were up there the whole time together, we were staying in the same place, and we got along really well. You know what I mean? Like mm. so, like it it's it's much easier to pretend you're in a relationship when you're like friends with the person you know what i mean mm -hmm. because you have a relate you know what i mean obviously she not like very fully plutonic or whatever but she was just super nice and easy to get along with and like you know we would like shoot the shit between takes and stuff like that and it's much easier to like transition from that into like you know 
having a sort of on-screen sort of relationship in chemistry when you when you get along as people um and also when she's just so good you know what i mean it's it's again it's in the same way that it's easier to pretend you're sick when you're covered in goo it's easier to like you know do the process of like you know having coming up with like a backstory and and, and thinking about like in like you know pretending to be in a relationship with someone when when you know you are looking at them and acting with them and and it feels real you know what i'm saying uh, oh so, yeah i mean she was she was great nothing but good things to say what kind of couple are emily and randall are they a too naive couple a too ambitious couple a couple who's in way over their heads i mean i think um i think in a lot of ways they're like you know before the proverbial shit hits the fan i mm -hmm. think they're um i think they're like a lot of college couples you know what i mean i think it's it's two people in their early 20s trying to figure out the rest of their lives and i think emily's she's she's very clear and driven and specific and, and knows what she wants and has a clear idea of how she's getting there and and works well within whatever like the traditional academic framework or whatever you want to call it is and then on the flip side of that randall is kind of a mess you know what i mean he's like not sure if he wants to finish school he's sort of disenchanted with like you know the traditional like just society as a whole um and I think that's not total, I mean, I, maybe the specifics of it are, are not like, not everyone goes to that exact thing, but I think a lot of people in their early 20s are in relationships and one person is at one point in their life and the other person is at another, you know? So I think in a lot of ways, that's very normal. Um, what makes it not normal, right, is, is what they're forced into. And I think a lot of the point, and I think the heart of the film in a lot of ways is watching this young couple, you know, sort of drift apart at the beginning and, and things not really working out and then being forced back together in like the most intense way possible by this thing that is, you know, so much bigger than any, any problem that, you know, you know, they are dealing with now. I hear you. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and talk about the intense way, like you said, uh, your character or you, uh, got to like crawl on your belly on the floor <laughs> for, for for quite significant amount of time. Uh, yeah. How challenging was it for you shooting those sequences? And was what was that experience uh, experience like for you? That was really fun. I mean, I don't know. I, I like all that stuff. I, <laughs> I the physical aspects of all that thing are like some of my favorite. Um, and again, it's like that's that's like a it's you don't have to be like subtle or like con. You know, you can just sort of like let go. And I think Jeff was was very open to you know just me doing whatever I felt like um and I think I've talked about this before with some other people but like one of the words he kept bringing up was like the idea of textures and like that was something I tried to think about a lot was just like how things like how your throat feels how a lot of stuff feels and like again when you're covered in goo and then you're thinking about like what your insides are feeling like it's very easy to like transition from that to like you know almost believing there's something growing in your stomach or whatever and then again it's like i've seen alien like a million times like you know <laughs> i was definitely thinking of like the you know the chest bursting scene and stuff like that and then like asking myself like oh what would that feel like um but yeah that was fun i'm you know i don't know what to say like i i'm glad i'm glad people seem to have liked it but i, I had a great time <laughs> yeah it really showed on the screen final yeah. question uh noah so uh, what's next on your horizon and will you be able to do those projects during this pandemic? Um, I most I play music a lot. Um, it's kind of the main thing of the last year. So uh, I do session work. Um, so I've just been, I mean, it was obviously nothing was happening for a little while there, but it's, you know, starting to pick up again. Um, the industry, the film industry is opening back up here again. So we'll see. I mean, again, everything is going to quiet down for the holidays, but vaccine, hopefully, maybe this year. <laughs> hopefully shows will become a thing so touring can come back um hopefully studios will open up more again you know yeah. but uh for now just just trying to just doing sessions as much as i can um and then gonna lay low for the holidays and uh, get back at it in 2021 all right keep doing your thing everybody from a fans at home go check out the beach house arriving on vod digital dvd and blu-ray december 15th Noah, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.